When our channel reached 50,000 subscribers, we polled our audience with the question, how should we celebrate? That included a couple of options like take a trip to Disneyland, which we're doing, update the photos for our channel cover and profile pictures, which we have yet to do, but that's coming up soon. We also post the question in the poll of doing a getting to know you vlog series where we share a little bit more of the details about our family so that you as audience members could get to know us a little bit better. And the final option was the overwhelming winner, all of the above. So here you go. This is our getting to know you vlog series. Park. My maiden name was Amber Funk. I was born on January 4th, 1978 in Colorado Springs, Colorado. My favorite food is anything. I like food. I, I wouldn't consider myself a foodie, but I just, I like food. I, I do. I like food. And I especially like trying ethnic foods. My whole life I used to tell people my favorite color was yellow because that was my mother's favorite color and I wanted to be like her. And I do like the color yellow, but I think I finally clued in that my actual favorite color is like a peacock blue or a, or a turquoise color. I don't know if I have a favorite book. In high school my favorite book was All the King's Men. I do love To Kill a Mockingbird, it's a classic. And I also enjoyed The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Oh, oh I do. I have a favorite book. It's a children's book that was a Newbery and Caldecott award winner. And it is called A Visit to William Blake's Inn, Poems for Innocent and Experienced Travelers. I used to read that to my children all the time when they were infants as I would rock them to sleep. The poems I would try in put on my very best British accent as I read that to them. It's a beautiful book. I highly recommend you check it out. Right now, I think currently my favorite TV show is Stranger Things. I love it, I think it's fantastic. But all time favorite has got to be Survivor. We have faithfully watched Survivor since season two and Survivor Outback. And I've gone back and rewatched the first one too. One of these days, it's, a, it's kind of a pipe dream of mine to become a contestant on Survivor. Currently, my favorite movie is The Greatest Showman. I also loved the Kira Knightley version of Pride and Prejudice. When I was in high school, my favorite movie was Strictly Ballroom. It's so funny and it's crazy and it's bright and colorful. That's a fun show. And I also like The Princess Bride. My favorite school subject, when I was going to school, I loved English, I loved theater arts, and I also loved my choir classes. Really hated math. Sorry to all of my math teachers. I didn't like them, but now I realize it wasn't them, it was just, it was the subject. I didn't like math. I studied theater arts in college with an education emphasis. Um, how I would describe myself, I think I'm an encourager, like a cheerleader. And I, I was actually a cheerleader when I was younger because I'm loud, but also I just, I like to cheer people on. I like to be supportive. I wish I could say I was creative. I do creative things, but I often draw inspiration from other people. So if I ever do something creative, you can bet I've copied someone else. I fancy myself a party planner, cake decorator. At least when my children were younger, I loved putting on these kind of big productions with fancy invitations and table spreads and cakes that I had decorated. I like to make kind of outlandish cakes, cupcakes and things. Another reason I enjoy doing that is that's a very fond memory that I have of my own mother. She used to do a lot of those types of things for us when, when we had birthdays and she made birthdays really special.
venture to say I can be a little bit competitive. I've got a little bit of fire and passion in me. So yeah, I've got a competitive spirit. I'm determined. Yeah, those, that kind of describes me in a nutshell. How would you describe mom? Helpful, pretty, and kind. Amber is, well, she used to be really organized. <laughs> she's, she's very organized. I don't know, I would have to say gung-ho about whatever she's involved in, whether it's work, church, hobbies. She's, she's a go-getter, and when she starts something, she gets into it 100%. Of course, beautiful. She's very smart because she married me for a lot of other reasons too. She's very intelligent. And she's a great cook. And she's a good example for our family. Pretty and helpful. Patient. She's very patient and loving and understanding. Helpful, caring, loving. I come from a very large family. I am the fifth child of six. My family comes from a long line of generations of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I have continued following the faith of my parents and the faith of my grandparents and ancestors. So I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that is an important part of who I am and very integral part of my daily life and lifestyle choices. I also believe that a majority of my greatest blessings have come from my membership in the church. My dad was a pilot in the Air Force, so growing up we moved all over the place. I was born in Colorado Springs while he was stationed at the Air Force Academy. Shortly thereafter, we moved to Arizona for three years. We were in England for three years after that. Then we moved to Del Rio, Texas. While we were living in Del Rio, Texas, my oldest sister was killed in an airplane crash. And I was eight at the time. And shortly after, my parents went through a divorce. My father eventually moved back to Arizona and our family stayed in Del Rio. One of the things that really helped us through that difficult time, I had auditioned for a community theater and was cast as the role of Annie. That turned out to be a wonderful turning point in my life where I discovered one, that I had a voice, and two, that I loved the theater, and we had a wonderful support system in our community theater family. They helped us through some really rough times. Eventually, my mother remarried, and my younger brother and I moved with her and my stepfather to Las Cruces, New Mexico. We were there about eight months before he was offered a position at Utah State University in Logan, Utah. And that's where I ended up before I started high school. I loved my high school experience at Logan High. And I continued getting involved in theater and auditioned for shows. I was in the school musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And then I was Nellie Forbush in South Pacific. During my senior year of high school, my mother passed away due to complications from ovarian cancer. And I was really grateful that one of the last things we did together before her passing was she was involved in helping us with South Pacific. She was very involved with publicity and t-shirt design and promotion and helped with the cast party. I'm really grateful that she was around to see that and be, be a part of that with me. So that, that was a very special thing for me. After I graduated from high school, I decided to stay in Logan and attend Utah State University. I majored in theater arts with an education emphasis. And that is when my sister set me up on a blind date with Jason. So the summer before I started school at Utah State, Jason and I went on a date to a football game. The rest is history, as you can tell, it went really well. We dated for a time after that, and um, he proposed to me on February 14th of 1997, and I said yes, obviously. Then we were married 
in the Logan Temple on June 25th, 1997. And if it looks like from our pictures and our wedding video that we were babies, we really were. I was just 19 and Jason was 22. So that gives you a little background to my childhood and a little bit of when, when Jason and I met. Jason and I carried on a long distance relationship. He was living in Provo. I was living in Logan, which was about two hours away. So when we got married, I was faced with the choice of where would I go and transferring my credits and school. Long story short, I decided to put my school on hold so that I could go to work and help support Jason through his schooling. So my first job after I was married, I worked at an elementary school in Provo. Started there as a reading one-to-one -one tutor and eventually was hired as the program coordinator for the Reading One-to-One -one program there at Franklin Elementary School. I worked there until I started having children. Then I was a stay-at-home mom for several years before Ella started kindergarten and that's when I returned to work. I currently work with Nebo School District at an elementary school that my children go to. I am the skills building technician and the home reading librarian. An accomplishment that I am proud of is that I was PTA president at my kids' school. That was a wonderful learning experience for me. I enjoy taking on leadership roles and working with other people to delegate responsibilities to see things getting done. I especially am proud of a couple of the programs that I helped bring to our school or introduce, including the Watch Docs program, which encourages more male involvement in our schools and the great artist program. Those are some things that I help push through. Is that your very first tiger? Uh-huh. My very first tiger. I like it. Do you want to hold it and let it go?
whichever one gets to the end wins. We've been working on them for a while, haven't we? We've been making these boats with Legos, and then we put tin foil for the sails. Okay, go. this far through this video. I can't imagine why anyone would want to know very much about me other than I I think this video will be a great gift and treasure to my children and to my family in years to come. So I'm glad we're taking this opportunity to tell a little bit about ourselves. I would hope that people always saw me as someone that was positive and uplifting and someone who was optimistic. So that's, I guess, on a deeper level than what's my favorite color or my favorite food. I just want people to know that deep down, I, I just want to be a good person. I want to be a good mother. I want to be an influence in the world. I want to be a light. That's a desire that I have. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and getting to know me better. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to know you a little bit better too. Leave a comment below. Let me know a little bit about yourself. I'd love to hear from you.